Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol CPMCB. We will take a look at the daily time frame. Not sure I've ever done this one before. Uh, PMCB, yeah. Trying to think off the top of my head. Don't believe so, but regardless, I've had some questions come in on it, and rightfully so. I mean, uh, if this isn't a nice-looking chart, then I don't know what is. I mean, you just think about ever since it bottomed out here in about mid-November. From that point forward, price just keeps on putting in these higher lows. And, you know, when you picture each of those as stair steps, and you got stair steps going in the upwards direction. You know, that's the name of the game. That's what you want to see. So overall, good solid looking chart. But let's get some things updated here in regards to levels of support and resistance. First, we'll talk about some levels of support. The ideal level of support, meaning if you say, hey, Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? If the price can hold above 0.065, which would be that green line right there, that would definitely make the chart look the, the strongest. I mean, now, if the price does drop below there i'm not saying that everything's ruined or anything like that but yeah preferably speaking if the price can hold up above there that would you know definitely be the uh, the best sign of strength for the bulls next level of support after that would be that 200 day simple moving average and that is represented by that pink line right there and actually you can already see last week on this kind of big pullback here that's directly where the price bounced off of it so a good little sign that it's already acting as you know support at that point but i mean even right here at double or excuse me not 0.065 there's still quite a bit of cushion given that it closed up there at 0.084 so um you know still quite a bit of ways before you know this level right here would even be you know potentially tested uh so all in all though uh, and that's the nice thing. When you have a, a stock that's making good, solid moves, it does tend to create space between areas of support where you get, you know, plenty of plenty of areas. I mean, technically speaking, if you wanted to, and I wasn't going to do this at first, but hey, why not? There is another area of support right up here where there was this previous breakout point, and that sits at about 0.077. So if the price can hold above 0.077, then in my mind, at least in my opinion, that would make the chart just look insanely strong. But again, just like 0 0.065, if 0 0.077 doesn't hold, I'm not sitting here saying that, oh, everything's ruined. Time. I'm not saying that at all. Those would just be those you know, ideal levels. What about areas of resistance? If this upwards move is going to continue, where are some of these potential battlegrounds at? So as you can see here, I'm going to scrunch up the chart here as we have to go back quite a bit of ways into the chart's history to figure out where some of these potential areas are. First area of resistance looking like it's kind of right where the price was hovering around today. Uh, right up there. I realize the price broke above it, uh, but cannot maintain above it. Uh, you know, therefore, this level right here at 0 0.086 still got to be considered an area, or excuse me, 0 0.085. That'll be the initial area of resistance. Next level of resistance after that, right up there, I think, yep, where it got rejected today. And that's up there at 0 0.09. So keep an eye on those two levels. But at the end of the day, and I started off with this and I'll end with this, you know, as long as the price keeps on putting in these higher lows like it's been doing, then the long-term chart's gonna continue to take care of itself. One of the more popular questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then by all means, click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point. And like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.